In this video, we're going to take a look at classifying systems of linear equations. First of all, if we're going to graph systems of linear equations where we have two equations, what we're going to find is that there's three possible things that can happen. One thing that can happen is that the lines intersect at one point, something like that. Another thing that could happen is that the lines, the graphs, are right on top of each other. So that's another situation. And finally, the third thing that could happen is the lines never intersect. In other words, they're parallel to each other. So those three things are what can happen given two linear equations. So we have some vocabulary that we can use to uh, tell what's going on in our systems. And it starts with consistent and inconsistent. Well, let's go back to are three different situations and look at the number of solutions in each of those situations. If we have a situation like this, there's one solution. The solutions show up where the lines interact with each other, where they cross. So here we have one solution. If the lines are on top of each other, then we have infinitely many solutions. And that's because the line extends forever in both directions so it goes on and on every spot on that line represents a ordered pair that would work in both the equations that gave us that line then finally we have a situation like this where there is no solution because those lines are never going to cross now let's put that vocabulary with the number of solutions first of all to be a consistent system, what that means is that there is a solution. Okay, So if there is a solution, it's consistent. Now, if there is a solution, well, there's two different possibilities. These two possibilities right here, there could be one solution, there could be infinitely many solutions. And that's where we break it down into these two pieces. If there's one solution, then we call it an independent system. And one way that I like to think about that is these lines could move around, but we could maintain one solution right there. The dependent system is where we have infinitely many solutions. Now, if we think about it, well, if one of the lines that makes up the two that are on top of each other moves in order to maintain infinitely many solutions the other line has to move in the same exact way so we could think of them as being dependent on each other so that's a situation where there's infinitely many solutions then finally the other situation is an inconsistent system that means there's no solution now Based on knowing these three things that can happen, we can actually figure out how many solutions and classify the system without even graphing it. The first thing that we're going to do in order to do that is to write each of our equations in slope-intercept form. And remember, slope-intercept form is our good friend y equals mx plus b. So basically, we're going to just solve each of the equations for y. When we do that, we'll be able to take a look at them and see what's going on. So I'm going to start with this one right here. And if I solve that for y, I'll go ahead and subtract x from both sides. So it would be y equals negative x plus 3. And this one, well, we've got a minus y. So I'm going to add y. So that would make it x equals y plus 1 and then I'm going to subtract 1 so that becomes y equals um, x minus 1 now I'm going to compare these two equations let's take a look here well if you remember in order for lines to be parallel to each other they have to have the same slope remember that the slope of the line is found here with our m, the coefficient of the x term. And if we look, compare the slopes, what do we see? Well, this one has a slope of negative 1, 
and this has a slope of 1. So the slopes are different. Well, the only thing that can happen is if we have different slopes is there can be one solution. Because in order for it to be infinitely many, it has to be the same line. They have to look the same. And for this one, we have to have the same slope. We don't have the same slope, so the only thing that could be is one solution. So to classify it, first of all, we call it consistent because there's one solution. And then since it's consistent, then we go independent because there is one solution. So it's a consistent independent system and we could also say that there is one solution. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's take a look at this next one. Again, our first step is going to be to solve each of the equations for y. So in this one, I can add 1 over there. So that top one's going to be y equals 2x plus 1. Then the second one, in order to solve that, I'll start by adding 8x over. So I have 4y equals 8x plus 4. Then I've got to get that y by itself, so divide everything by 4. Divide everything by 4, and we get y equals 8x divided by 4 is 2x, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now, what do we notice? Holy cow, it's the same equation. Well, if we would graph that, they would be right on top of each other. That's this situation right here. So, there are solutions, so we call that system consistent. Then, since it's consistent there are solutions, we go to this part right here and we say it's a dependent system because it's the same line, they're right on top of each other. So, another way to think of that, if one moves, the other one's got to move and we have infinitely many solutions in this situation because again it's right on top of each other Oops, infinitely many okay then last one over here let's give this one a try for this one we have again start with solving each for y, so minus 2x in this top one, so y equals negative 2x minus 3, and in this one we'll add 1 to get that y by itself, so it's going to be y equals negative 2x plus 1. Now let's take a look at what we've got going on. Notice the slopes are the same. The slope for each of these equations is negative 2. Okay, so that means it's either going to be this or this. Now we need to look at the y-intercept. And in this case, the y-intercept is negative 3. In this case, it's 1. So, huh, they're going to be parallel to each other. They're never going to cross because they have the same slope but different intercepts. So to classify, well, since they're parallel, meaning they look something like that, there is no solutions, we call it inconsistent, and if that's the case, then we don't talk about independent or dependent. It's just inconsistent and no solution. So, classifying systems of linear equations, remember there's three things that can happen. They can cross in one spot, so there's one solution. They can be the same line, we have infinitely many solutions, or they can be parallel, in which case we have no solutions. Then we can have some vocabulary for those situations. First of all, we talk about consistent and inconsistent. Consistent means there are solutions. If it is consistent, then we talk about independent and dependent. Independent is one solution, dependent infinitely many. And finally, we have inconsistent system, in which case there's no solution. That's when we have parallel lines. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.